Hey everybody, Lev Farmer 73 here and welcome to Hood Tech Institute. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the brand new Blue Eddy EB3A. Now this is the Blue Eddy's predecessor, the big brother Blue Eddy. This is the EB70. So we're going to get right into it and see how this thing measures up. All right, let's get this baby unboxed. All right. Before we get going, I want to say thank you and shout out to Blue Eddie for sending me the EB3A so we can get a look at here in the Greenhouse Lounge. Without further ado, let's get this thing unboxed. All right, what's in the box? Let's get it going. As usual, packaged very well. And right out the gate is our little Little brother EB3A. Ain't that nice. Let's see what else we got. And it also comes with plugs, which is always a plus. There's a lot of people out there not sending with plugs anymore. So we have your AC power cord, which is awesome because there is no more power brick with the EB3A. So this will end up plugging right into the front and you have your MC4 connector with an eight millimeter barrel plug. Awesome, awesome. We're getting off to a good start. So let's dig right down into this and see what it got in store for us. One of the great features about this, right off the bat, you can charge it from zero to 100% in less than an hour with this quick charge. It also comes with the 15 watt charging pad on top. Let's give it a shot. There we go. We are charging. We have a DC 12 volt cigarette lighter port. We also have two 5 volt 3 amp USB ports and one USB-C 100 watt port. They should make all of these the same, but just in case you don't know, they do have adapters that will turn this regular USB port into a USB-C port. And here's the one I love, the single cord charging cable port. No more power bricks with this guy. This is it. You take this and we'll plug that right into his big brother, and let's see if we can get some juice out of that guy. Everything is running right now. Let's see. Let's see what we got. There we go. It kicked in now. So we have a color dis display. It shows the input, the output, how long it's going to take before it's fully charged, or how many more hours you got left of time. This also has a UPS feature, meaning you can leave this plugged into any device and into your AC plug inside the house. So if your power goes off in the house, whatever device you have it plugged into will stay operational. It also comes with two 600 watt, 120 volt AC ports. Here you have the eight millimeter barrel plug at 28 volts and eight and a half amps. And remember, amps plus volts equals watts. That'll always tell you how much solar you can be bringing in safely. So we're talking somewhere roughly around 200 watts of solar power coming in max. Another cool thing about the EB3A is you can use solar and use your AC at the same time and combining the power up to 430 watts of power to get it charged up that much faster. Here we have fans on either side for cooling and we also have our life-saving flashlight. Never leave home without it. On top, we have a flip-up handle. I know a lot of people really don't care for that and they think it feels cheap and cheesy, but I gotta be honest with you. I've taken the EB70 everywhere and it has the exact same handle and I've never had any trouble with this. Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably wondering, Led, okay, 
We ready to see the power now. We like all the gadgets and the glitz, but let's see the power. Now remember, this is only 268 watt hours, meaning if you have an appliance that takes 100 watts to use, and this is 268 watt hours, you will have a little over two and a half hours of runtime. So keep that in mind, okay? This thing is powerful, but it's tiny. It's like a little breath mint, you know? little tic-tac in your mouth, but it's so powerful, it'll change your day. So we have several different modes that the EB3A can run on. One is standard, two is eco mode, and three is power lift mode. To access power lift mode, what you wanna do is download the Blue Eddy app like I did here. Once we click on the app, it will find your EB3A, and all we do is hit connect. It's looking for it now. And there we have it. As you can see now, we're wirelessly connected through Bluetooth to the EB3A. So you can control everything through the app as you can manually right here. What it shows you is the power going out, the power coming in, whether you have solar coming in or is it hooked into AC. Here, you can actually manually change it to power lift mode. By switching to your settings, you can see power lift mode right there. Now we can turn that on right here or leave it off. Now the reason I have mine off because I wouldn't advise cutting that on just all willy nilly. You only have 268 watt hours. So if you're trying to power something that's 200 watts, you're gonna use all of that energy really fast. So. I use that in case of an emergency. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna plug in a few things and give the EB3A a test drive. Okay, usually I go and I start from the bottom and I work my way all the way up to the gusto. That's not what we're gonna to do today. Today, I'm going straight to the gusto and see how this works. Behind me, I have a 10,000 watt BTU air condition and I know I'm going hard with it, but I gotta see, I gotta check and see if this works. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna turn on the EB3A. We got it powered up and I'm gonna grab the plug from the air conditioner. As you can see, get her plugged in. I just heard the power. Okay, so Let's bring you closer. As we can see, we're powered up. Let's see if it'll even turn this on. We got it powered on. That's just the fan for now, but it's working. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave that running until the compressor kicks in and let's see how it handles it. Right now, it's only drawing 135 watts. So let's see what happens. He couldn't do it. It tried, but it couldn't do it. Couldn't kick on that compressor. So what we're gonna do now is power it off. This is the power button here. It's gonna prompt you, are you sure if you wanna cut it off? We're gonna say yes. And there's the screen back there, you can see when it cuts off. And it shut the EB3A off. Now, I love this little guy. I know this is new innovation that Blue Eddy just kicked in that I'm loving. There's a lot of other generators to use this kind of technology, and I'm glad Blue Eddy is finally on board. It's very light, so it's easy to take anywhere. It's, it's this light, where you can turn this any way you want. So you're getting the power of a big device, but it's very light and it's very small. The drawback is you only got 268 watt hours, but I think by now we all know how to manage our time. 
With all that being said, this is the Blue Eddie EB3A. I want to say thank you to Blue Eddie again for sending me out the EB3A to check out and review. This is one of the best that Blue Eddie has put out so far. It's small, but it's really powerful. Like I say, it's like a little breath mint. As you see, I have other Blue Eddies, but so far, this guy is top notch. All right. So that's it from me, Left Farmer 73, here at Hood Tech Institute. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Blue Eddie. We appreciate all your help. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it down below in the comment section. Oh, by the way, this is on sale right now. So the link is in the description box below. Left Farmer 73, I love you guys. Stay safe. I love you. Stay safe. I love you. Stay safe.